Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pinet Labs. My name is Chirag and in this video today we are going to take a look at a way which we can use for managing our network in a graphical and programming interface. Now we are talking about DNA Center. So DNA Center is an appliance that we can install in our network which will help us in managing our network using a graphical interface. Now it's not just that. It gives you various abilities. You can do programming, you can do management, you can control your traffic, you can define various kinds of policies using DNA Center. So let's get started. Let's try to understand what all areas can be accomplished or we can say what all features are provided by DNA Center. So let's get started. So we are discussing here DNA Center. And one of the key feature of using DNA Center can be design. So design is basically when you design your network, it gives you the ability of designing a network. You can add in areas, you can add in buildings, uh, you can define at what particular floor, what IP network you want to use. So all that possibilities are there by using the graphical interface. You can design your network in a very well, uh, we can say a very great manner. Then after designing your network, the next task is managing that, right? For which we have got the ability to provision policies. Policies can be used to automate and simplify the network management. You can define various kinds of policies to define what priority you want to provide to your network. So uh, we can say one of the uh, great feature of using policy can be deploying QoS. QoS can be uh, deployed in your network where you can define that voice traffic is important to me and I want to specify XYZ MBPS of bandwidth to just voice traffic. So that all can be achieved by using policy. Then another feature is provision. With the help of provision, I can get these services to ease the, um, I mean, the management and deployment of a new device. What I can do is I can create out templates. I can define that these are the set of configurations which I want to be added on a new device. Now, whenever the user is going to connect that device, that device will get a IP from the DHCP server. They'll get the information about our DNS server. And after that, once it gets in touch with the DNA center, the DNA center is going to provide the configurations which the router has to deploy. So without even touching the router, I can set up the router directly from my DNA center. So I get so much of power just by deploying a controller like DNA center. After that, it's not just that, it provides you the ability to monitor as well. So for example, there are some devices which are not in a very good condition. You can monitor them with the help of another feature provided by DNA center, which is assurance. Assurance gives you the ability to monitor the uh, network, the devices, the applications, the protocols which are running inside your network. So you get the ability to understand what's actually happening inside your network. And once you understand that some device is, for example, in a little trouble, you'll be able to resolve that, right? Then another feature of using DNA Center is platform. Platform DNA Center works as a platform which can be used for programmability. Now you can do all this through the graphical interface, but at the same time you can also use APIs. You can use language like Python to automate this stuff. We have got the vast availability of APIs which can be used in DNA Center to do the configurations or to do the management of our whole complete network. So it can act as a platform as well. Then the last one is system. Configuring system settings, adding users, adding roles, monitoring the health, all of that can be simply achieved through the system feature of our DNA Center. So we have got all these possibilities which can be achieved through our DNA Center. So let's get started. Let's try to observe these through a live interface. I'm going to share my other screen and there we'll see how DNA Center looks like. DNA Center, which I'm trying to access through the Cisco Sandbox, 
And if I click here on the explore key, if I go to the design tab, I can define the network hierarchy. It takes a little time to load. Yeah, here it is. So there are some pre existing areas. I can drag to the location where I want to add something. Let's say, for example, India, I want to add some area here. So I'll just right click here. For example, under Poland, I want to add an area. I'll right click on this. I'll go there. And then I can say. Interface of DNA center, which I am trying to use inside the sandbox. I'll put down the link which you can use and the username and credentials to explore the DNA center. Uh, these are working as of now, which is 20, 20th February 2023. But yeah, you can uh, anytime look for the credentials by simply searching for DNA center sandbox. Now, here when I log in, I, I can see that there is this option of exploring. Once I click on that, I get to see all the features and all the details related to DNA Center, which can be achieved. Getting started with, let's say, the very first one, which is design. Once I click on design, I get to see a complete map here. This is where you can design your network. You can add areas, you can add um, buildings inside it, you can add state. Whatever you want to do, you can achieve that. You can plan, you can design your network through this particular interface. For example, if I click here, this is the location. If I open this drop down, so there is floor one inside this location. Inside floor one, I can deploy some devices. I can design what network I want to do or what, ne what network I want, what all devices I want inside my floor number one, what IP network I want to use, what VLANs I want to create. All that designing stuff can be achieved by using the design feature of DNA Center. Then if I go to my next tab, which is policy, if I click on policy here, I can define various kinds of policies. As I was mentioning earlier, you can define QoS, you can define some IP access list policies. If you want to uh, allow some traffic, if you want to restrict some access, all of that can be achieved through uh, DNA Center's policy feature. If I go into the IPN URL based access control list, then you can define the ACLs there. If you want to do some QoS uh, profiles, if you want to create some queuing profiles, you can do that. You can define what amount of bandwidth you want to define for a particular type of traffic, be it voice traffic, be it uh, video traffic, and so on. Then the next is provision. Under provision, we can get to see the features of plug and play. You can add devices and simply you just have to reach out to DNA Center for getting the configurations which you need to get started. Then similarly, if I go into the next tab, which is assurance under assurance, I can monitor the health issue sensors, all these things through which I can identify if there is something wrong in my network. If I click on health, I'll be able to access the um, information related to my routers. I can see what is the utilization of devices, what is the requirements of devices and accordingly I can deploy the resources. Then the next one we have is got workflows. If you go there, you will be able to find and maintain some workflows which you want to uh, make sure that everything is on point. Similarly, there are a few more tools and platforms which can be used. Now under platform which we were talking about, uh, you can go into developer toolkit. Here you will find the list of APIs which you can use for managing or authenticating, controlling, all that can be done through the uh, APIs as well. Like if I look into this health and performance, then it will bring out the system health and count using this particular API. So similarly, uh, for any other feature which we have talked about, which can be achieved through DNA Center, you will find somewhat API for doing it through Python script. So the, there's the possibility of doing that as well. Because as I mentioned earlier, DNA Center is also a platform which can support programmability and automation. So that's how great DNA Center is. And this was very, I would say, less uh, details and 
discussion related to DNA Center. It is very wide, but yeah, the objective of this video was to just give you an introduction, which I think is already fulfilled. So thank you so much. That was all for this video. I hope you found this informative and I'll be putting the link. So make sure you explore this.